There it goes. I'm officially all alone out here. I'm Colin O'Brady. I'm 33 years old from Portland, Oregon, and I just completed the very first crossing of Antarctica solo, unsupported, and unaided. No one had ever completed this journey, although a lot of great explorers have tried over the years. And so I was fascinated by seeing if it was possible. My first day alone in Antarctica, I was dropped off on the Rani ice shelf. I was so excited, but also really nervous. All of a sudden I was like, whoa, um, here I am alone. What did I get myself into? This project was so challenging mentally, I think much more mentally than physically. Of course, the physical demands were extreme to be in such a cold and harsh place. But being alone, the physiological demands were quite intense. Oh, I got caught out in a massive storm. I'm at the top of Lever Glacier, there's mountains. You know, the biggest dangers of making this crossing have to do with not having enough food. Given that, you're not able to take much days off because if you take a day off, you're still eating food, burning fuel, and running short on supplies. Um, so for me, I actually didn't take a single day off in 54 days. I kept going in these immense, immense storms, and the dangers of that is setting up and taking down the tent when it's 50, 60, 70 mile per hour winds. If the tent poles break or the wind carries away your tent, that's it. That can result in death. I keep chipping away. Another 12 and a half hour day out here. No reason for continuing to go every single day became much larger than myself. I put this into the world to be able to share and hopefully have a ripple effect of inspiration throughout the world, not only for myself, but inspire others to dream big, set goals in their own lives, and realize that the impossible can become possible when you dream in such a mindset. First person in history to cross the entire continent of Antarctica.